Hey guys, Jackie at cornersoapshop.com. We're here today to tell you about our second quarter bestsellers for 2023. And number 10, the bottom of the list, so to speak, is our cherry vanilla goat milk soap. That is an awesome soap. This is what it looks like unwrapped. Um, cherry vanilla goat milk soap is just a nice comfort scent, if you will. It was one of my mom's very favorite soaps because she liked Jergens Lotion, that cherry almond scent. So this one's similar. It's not the same thing, but similar. Uh, cherry vanilla coming in at number 10. Next on the list is another goat milk soap, our almond milk and honey soap. And again, here's a bar that's unwrapped. And almond milk and honey goat milk is a great another comfort scent if you will it's in my food scent categories and it's just for people that maybe like oatmeal milk and honey that type of scent but don't want any scrubbiness from the oatmeal almond milk and honey may be the one that you need and one of my personal favorites lilac goat milk here is a picture of the, that's not focusing in real great, but you get to see it's got a little bit of color running through it, that uh, lavender purpley color uh, marbled through the soap, throughout the whole bar of soap. I don't know if you can see on the side there, but it runs through the whole bar. It's just not on the top, typically. Um, one of my favorites, just lilac as a scent, has always been one of my favorites growing up in Illinois where we had lots of lilacs. When I moved to Florida, no lilacs, so I really missed it. And this was one of the very first soaps that I made back in 98, and I tried to get six different uh, scents from different suppliers, and there was only one of them that was a true lilac. Most of them just smell flowery, but not in a good way kind of powdery flowery this is a true lilac scent you will love it if you love lilacs and another perennial bestseller this is the bestseller of our scrubby soaps of all time the lemongrass scrubby and see you can't really see the little it's got little bits of cornmeal in it this one is a 100 percent natural soap uh, made with lemongrass essential oil. Awesome, again, to exfoliate this time of year. Everybody's got that, looks like winter dry skin, but it's not. It's just dead skin cells that need to be removed from your body. So try the lemongrass scrubby soap. It's a great one. And uh, this one's kind of unusual. Clove, our 100% natural clove soap unusual in that I don't know that it's ever been in the top 10 before uh, so everybody must have been restocking uh, let's say a fall favorite um, I do carry most scents year-round so this is just one of those that snuck up onto the list let's say that it kind of took the place of lavender which for the first time in forever did not show up on our list clove 100% natural soap then we have a fun one, vanilla champagne uncorked, just kind of a fun. I started doing this one at a wine festival in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. There's a look at, at it unwrapped and it just smells effervescent. So if you like champagne, it just has that kind of bubbles like tickling your nose. Uh, this is not a scent that I make myself, it's a purchase scent. I don't know how they do it. If, they, if I could figure that out, I would put it in just about every soap just because it's fun. Uh, our bubbly soap, vanilla champagne, uncorked. And another one of my favorites, I don't have it unwrapped, uh, Citrus Splash. It's a creamy white with yellow uh, marbled through it. Uh, pink grapefruit, lemon, lime, sweet orange, and tangerine, all citrusy goodness. It uh, just makes me happy. It is my truly my happy scent. I hope you love it too, Citrus Splash. And then for this time of year, Sea Breezes. Coming in at number three. This is what it looks like. Got a little green, yellow, and blue marbled through it. Kind of, it's a pretty soap. 
if you're into color you don't have to be but it's to me it just helps me tell the difference between the soaps if they were all creamy white you wouldn't be able to tell the difference so uh, sea breezes coming in number three very popular year round but hey perfect for summertime and then this is a Jackie Soap Corner Soap Shop exclusive, our everything but the kitchen sink soap. It is literally made with little bits and pieces from all of the soap scents that I make. Um, I put them in a great big huge Rubbermaid container and save them up for a month or two or three, whatever, just depending on how much soap I'm making. And then they all get combined. I do what's called an oven rebatch and that rebatch becomes everything but the kitchen sink. Um, it's, if you've been to my craft shows, uh, back when I was doing craft shows, hang on, I'll show you what I used to give away. These little sample chunks wrapped in tissue paper, people were sent home with these by the hundreds, if not thousands during a craft show. And I would get the next week without fail after every craft show, at least six people calling me to order soap and most of the time it's because they fell in love with everything soap i hope you like it too and coming in at number one another unusual only oats our unscented goat uh excuse me oatmeal soap no goat milk in this one oatmeal um unusual that this is in the top 10 because it's is an unscented soap most people like scent so what this tells me is that people the people with uh, allergies reactions sensitivities those people that wanted uh, to make sure that their soap was pure that they can't do any scents they all stocked up at the same time again i have a sneaking suspicion between the clove and this one it kind of knocked any of the lavenders out of the top 10 um, first time in probably 25 years that a lavender soap has not made it into the top 10. But hey, surprise and woohoo, only oats. Jazz hands for our only oats. Um, hope you love it. Number one soap this quarter. I wonder what's going to be number one in the third quarter of 23. We'll check back with you in a couple months. Thanks for watching.